The thing is, when you get into this fucking music business, and I use the word fucking music business, you never really know what's going to happen and where you're going to go. And I've been lucky that for sort of 25 years, I've been able to pretty much make a good living out of doing it, except for about seven, eight months, about 13 years ago, when I was going through a pretty bad divorce. And I was living in Dublin, and uh, my ex-wife took all my money. She took all my money, she took the house, she took everything, and I was broke, and I was selling guitars that I'd collected over the years to pay the rent, and try and get out of debt. And uh, I started running the guitars, I didn't know what I was going to do, so a mate of mine had a delivery company, delivering sandwiches around Dublin. And he said, look, Ricky, he said, I'll help you out, I'll give you a job, you know, cash in hand. You start at six in the morning, you finish at two, you drive around Dublin. And I'm like, fuck, you saved my life. You absolutely saved my life. So I start driving this van around Dublin. First time I've worked since leaving the chicken farm and the tractors, wherever, where did she go? <laughs> kind of hating my life, but happy that I'm making some money and, and getting myself back on my feet. And I'm driving around Dublin and I deliver all these sandwiches to all these big corporate offices in Dublin. And I pull up outside this huge lawyer's office in Baggett Street in Dublin. And I walk in with a tray of sandwiches. And there's a kid outside in a Metallica t-shirt on a cigarette break. And he sees me walking in with a tray of sandwiches. And he's kind of going... Ricky Warwick's delivering my sandwiches! He goes... Christ, remind me never to go to the cinema with you, will you? Your husband said we're having sex. I'm coming, I'm not even started yet. <laughs> so anyway, he's looking at me, walking out his dress homages, and of course he clocks me and he goes, he goes, are you Ricky Warwick? And I went, aye. He goes, uh, Warwick, what the fuck are you doing? And I went, oh man, I'm just fucking trying to pay my bills and you know get by and blah blah blah. He goes, fuck. So I deliver the sandwiches and about two weeks later, the thing is when this is going on people still think you're in a band and you've made shitloads of money and you're living in a fucking castle in the middle of nowhere or whatever. And they still send you invitations to like all these great parties and I got two invitations through in the post to the Irish Music Awards. VIP, free bar, the whole thing. So myself and my girlfriend, I thought great I'll have some of that, we've been a rock and roll actually again. We went to it, we got the suits on, we were all dressed up, we're there in Dublin hanging out. You know Def Leppard are there, you two are there, fucking... It's fantastic. I'm standing at the free bar with a beer and there's two girls and they're pointing at me and they're laughing and they're giggling. And I'm like, fuck Ricky, you've still got it. <laughs> Somebody still remembers you. And you know the chest goes out and I sort of went to my girl and honey, you got a pen. I'm like, need to send a couple of autographs. And they're pointing and they're giggling and then one of them starts walking towards me and I'm like... Ricky. And I went, yeah. She goes, she goes, those sandwiches you delivered to our office every Friday are absolutely fucking fun. Yeah. 
Yeah. 